Okay, hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you guys how to resize videos that you download off of MX Tube to use as your video wallpaper on the 3.0 software. Um, to start off, all right, for this you're going to need a lot of programs. Um, first one is WinSCP to uh, SSH into your iPod, which should be pretty standard for most people. You should have that already. Um, you're going to need an AVI video converter. I have any video converter. <laughs> um, you guys, I'll put the link for this one in the description, but you guys can just find one wherever or if you have one on your computer already. The second thing you're going to need is virtual dub. Um, I'll try and find the link for that. If not, you can probably just um, search it on Google and you should have it there. And uh, then you're going to need what is it, Jodex iPod video converter. Uh, I'll try and find that too, but if not, once again, just search like Jodex, and then it should say like there in the description, and you should be good. Um, yeah, there's a lot of um, programs, but it gets the job done. This video may seem long. That's only because it's taking a while to convert all the videos, but uh, let's get started and finish this really quick. First, when you uh, SSH into your, uh, your iPod, you should come onto the screen again. Just click on the arrow at the top here. It should go back, and then you want to click on mobile, or double click on mobile, and then go to media, and go down to MX Tube right here. And all the videos you've downloaded should be right here. Um, I'm just going to choose, let me see what this one is. Okay, what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm not even sure which, which this one is. I'm just gonna move it over. So, go to copy or sorry, move to. Never mind. You want to go to copy, and then you can just search wherever you want to place it. I'm just gonna put it on my desktop for now. You click copy. You wait till it comes over. See, this is the long part here. It hasn't even converted anything yet. It shouldn't take that long. If you have a patience, then you can wait it out. Okay, as you can see, it's already done. So I'm going to go find it on my desktop here. And it's this one right here. I'll just open it up to show you guys. I don't even know what it is. It's probably something stupid. Or what something you guys would think was stupid. And it can open anytime it wants now. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. It is, uh... Demi Lovato on Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> I know. All right. Well, I'm just gonna close it now. Um, so that's what it is. I can rename that. Just so I know what it is. Part one, because it's two parts. Okay. And first thing you want to do is you want to go to any video converter and click Add Video or go to your video converter, I don't know what it is but then you find where you've the place you down or you uh, copy your video over to and it's right here, I'm going to click open I then, I'm going to, you want to convert it to AVI right and it should all be good here's the long part Not sure how long this is going to take. Holy crap, I may cut you guys out here. Because it's going like really slow. I don't know, if it speeds up then I'll keep it going, but I don't think it is.
Yeah, I'm just gonna pause it until it reaches around 94% or whatever, just to show you guys. Okay, as you can see, it has reached 90%, and it slowed down right when I started Hypercam again. So we just wait out this last 7%, 8% here, 7%. <laughs> Sorry about the length, it is because of the converting times. With this converter, it should convert back to where the original file is found, which in my case is my desktop. But I think there'll be an option here saying, do you want to view? I don't know, it's just saying, do you want to upgrade? So I'm going to minimize that. Alright, okay, just I'm gonna go F open destination file. Okay, well it downloaded some retarded place. But anyways, it's right here. And um I just closed the video converter, you can you probably don't need it anymore. Then you wanna go to uh, virtual dub, you take this and you drag it in. If you're asking why didn't you just put the MP4 in before it says like this file format is not supported so that's why you have to convert it to AVI this will pop up it's not wrong just click OK and here is your uh, first thing like the when you're coming into it with and this is what the finished product will look like so if you see if I click play now it's just what the episode is Here's another one. right and then so first you want to go to video and you want to go to filters the first one go to add scroll down to uh, sharpen click OK this will pop up you just click OK with that and then you want to go to add scroll down to resize click OK make sure here this is disabled the first thing for aspect ratio and then for absolute pixels you want to make it 320 by 480 that's the uh, iPod screen size and then that should be good you so you click OK and then OK and you can see this video resized here it doesn't play with it but like you get the idea that's what it'll look like and then you want to go to file save as AVI and then you choose where you want to save it I'm just gonna put it on my desktop again so I'll click save and again here's some long converting process as you can see that it's hardly moving so um I'm probably reaching like six minutes already I'm gonna pause this again while this converts and then I'll bring it back up when it's done